Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut. When we last left off, we completed Jill. We did. It was brutal, but it was fun. Now, now it's time to go once again on Advanced, but we're going to be playing as Chris. Now, I'm expecting this to be a lot harder. Chris can tank more damage, of course, but he can only hold six items instead of uh, Jill's eight. Doesn't sound like a lot on paper, but in practice, oh boy, in practice, that's quite the significant difference. So, uh, we're not going to be reading files and stuff like that because we've, we did all that in the last playthrough. They're all the same. Let's continue, guys. Let's uh, let's do this. So there's going to be a lot more back and forth with uh, Chris, but that's not too bad. We're going to skip all the scenes; they're all the same. Um, yeah, we're we're, we're going to uh, be having a lot more back and forth action, I think. But it doesn't matter too much. Because once you've cleared the way, you've cleared the way. I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably no. No. Not Baza. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. <laughs> so long, buddy. I love the way Chris just waves them off. It's like, yeah, see ya. See you later. Now, Chris is a bit of a tool. And does not come with a gun. He just brings a knife. This is silly. Um, this is very silly uh, on Chris's part. Now, also, Barry is not here to take out this zombie. And the blood is not here either. Which is kind of interesting when you think about it. So let's go introduce ourselves to our little friend. Our happy little shambler. Oi, buddy. Oi, oi. Right, now, let's try and skip past. Come on, it's Kenneth from Star's Bravo team. Now he has become a mere shadow of his former self. You mean he's dead? That's what you mean. You mean he's dead. He's not a shadow of his former self. He's dead. Can we get the sec... Yes. I think we get bitten here, but... Ah, oh, well. That's fine. We don't care. Because Chris is... Yeah, we're going to get bitten. Chris is a bit more of a tank. Could have done that better, but it's fine. How much damage did we take? Straight down to yellow, fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess. Kind of what I was expecting. I didn't expect to come away from that with a full, clean bill of health. Um, right, well, I mean, we have some handgun bullets, but no actual handgun. So let's go check on these two out here, who I'm sure are absolutely still here waiting for us. I guess not. Mm. Wesker? Jill? No one's here, brother. What happened to Jill and Wesker? Yes, what happened to them indeed? And why is there a handgun on the floor? It's Jill's gun. Hmm, will you take the Beretta? We will. Jill dropped her fully loaded gun. Hmm, just what the hell is going on around here? I don't know. And we can't go this way because the door is locked. Now, I'm very rusty with Chris. I haven't actually completed this game as Chris for a very, very, very long time. 
So we need the sword for that. Okay. So we're going to have to go up and around. Which is fine. We can do that. We need to go this way. We could go see... F no, I don't even think we can go see forest, can we? Ooh. Hmm. Could go that way. Let's go as far this way as we can. Let's do some research. Can we? We can't see forest because I'm sure that that door is locked. The door is not locked. I'm talking horseshit. So we can. Oh, and there's a small key there as well. Small keys are very important, obviously, uh, because we don't have the lock pick. We can use the small keys to open uh, small locks. I think there's four in total. And I can't remember where we need them for. Okay, let's go see our friend Forrest. He's having a bit of a bad time, to be honest. Hey, buddy. Hello. Allow me to relieve you. Ooh. Relieve you of your, your pain and suffering. Alright, so ammo, we're doing okay. Forrest took literally one bullet in the dome and he had enough. Now, the mansion key. What mansion key is this? I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably the sword key. No, it's the armor key. Okay, that's cool. So in that case... We actually can go back around this way. Um, <laughs> we're already out of spaces. Uh, that's an ass. And I'll put if, if I'm sounding off or a little bit. The I'm feeling really ill. Um, I have been all day. Uh, I have for the last two or three. Well, for the last two days at least, I've had the sorest throat ever. Maybe I got coronavirus. I don't know. Who bloody knows? Right, so we're going to use the armor key there. Um, hey, friend. Let's get rid of you. We're getting super lucky with these uh, crits. So that's three zombies we've put down. Uh, in really fucking good time. How many rounds have we used? <laughs> we've used three bullets and we've killed, what, three zombies? I'm not even sad about that, you know? Um, now, let's see. Are we, yeah, it looks like we're going to get the same thing from here. Okay, so I wonder if the items are going to be roughly the same places as they are. I think that needs another little nudge. There we go. That looks a little bit better. We don't want to gas ourselves. That would be tragic. Alright, that should be enough. Should. Um, right, there's a switch. Will you push it? Yeah, push it real good. Alright. Now that presents us with that. But of course, we can't use that. Well, we can't pick it up because we are bingo space. But we know it's there. We know it's ready for us. Um, we've got Mr. Zedlophile here. Come on. We're going to get bitten. Yep. No, no, we're not. That was very lucky, actually. I was getting way too hopeful that we're just going to crit that guy. He's dead now. Uh, from an ammo standpoint, we're still doing fairly well. Oh, hey, friend. Well, we blew his arm off, but that's not quite what we're looking for here. No, he's he's not had enough yet. Oh, you greedy little shit. Right, now he's gone. Now we can... Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, dude. What a plank I am. It's locked from inside. Okay. I 
guess we're going through here then. Oh, I can't believe that. I thought there was no way he was going to still be alive. Oh, fucking tool belt I am. Okay, well, I mean, you can't odds it. You can't odds it. Right, let's grab up the botanical, uh, the botany book. And head on through here. You unlocked it, but we can only go one way through here, I believe. Now we're going to have two zombies directly... Oh no, just the one in front of us. Oh! Oh, did that go straight through him? That literally looked like it went straight through him. That was cool. Because it like knocked him down. Decapitated... The oh god. The guy behind him. Oh, come on. These guys are taking a lot of bullets. Right. Yeah, we should be able to unlock that one now. Okay, that's cool. Now, we've got two more Zeds down below us. We can't do this. Oh, we can do this one. Yeah, I can see that zombie around the corner there. Oh, I don't want to do this puzzle yet because I haven't got any space. So, yeah. Did you hear that? Is there actually a zombie in that room? I know as um, Jill one followed us in, which was a little bit awkward. Hmm. Now we've got two zombies here that we're going to have to drop. Because I don't want to be trifling with these guys. Right. I was going to say, I thought there was two there. I could only see one from that camera angle. Stop blowing their arms off, Chris. We need to actually... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to get a load of ammo in a minute anyway. I say a load. We're going to get a few magazines. It's not exactly a load. Come on, guys. Get on your feet, soldier. Or at least get on your feet, scientist, dude. Oof. That was nice. So we've got a herb out there that we're going to have to collect. There's going to be a lot of back and forth in this game, guys. Just because of our inventory situation. As I've said now about 7,246 times. Right, um... Oh, fool. Fool of a dog. So, let's drop that useless thing back. Let's drop that back. We're definitely going to need that later. A small key, like... I'm trying to remember where all the small key uses are. We're going to keep hold of that. And we're going to have that, and we're going to have... No, we're not going to have the bloody combat... Look, Chris, I know you love the combat knife, buddy. But no. No. Okay. That's a little bit healthier. It's not great, but... Considering the circumstances, it could be worse. We're going to have to take the broken shotgun as well. Because unfortunately, Chris needs the broken shotgun. We're also going to go out, grab this herb, and use it. <sighs> yeah, use this bad boy. Yum, yum, yum. Now that should make us feel a little bit better. There we go. Back up to... What fine are we on, actually? Yeah, thought as much. Could be worse. Could be better. Okay, now, oh, ooh. Ooh. Well, I say, I guess we can't go that way then. Well, that's interesting. Uh, okay. So let's put that back for now then, the broken shotgun. We still don't have any ink ribbons. Well, I mean, technically, we're about to get some ink ribbons, I suppose. 
we have one key. We've got three slots left, which isn't great. Man, this is going to be a lot different. I'm actually having to stop and think where to go and what to do. We've got that zombie around the corner, but we're not going to worry about him too much. We do need to go into here. Might as well get this done. We can pick up the item from the green room. Yep, there is a zombie over there in the corner. Ha! Huh. Which there wasn't when we played as Jill. Which is rather curious. Now, there's ink ribbons there. There's also researcher's will, which we do not need to read because we've already read it. And we can go push this button over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the damn switch, Chris. Push the damn squit, uh, switch. Switch? Switch? Switch to switch. Right. Now, the switch has been swished. Let's move this out of the way. Now, what does Chris get in here, then? Ah, oh, wrong way. Eh, I'm a fool. Yeah, I might actually only have to record one or two videos today, guys. I'm not good. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Thought that. Mooncrest. That's fine. And I suppose... Will we take the ink ribbons? Yes. And then I'm going to have to go back to the item room. Because there is... No, actually, I don't think I will have to go back to the item room yet. I really don't want to have to... Come on, dude. Over here. Over here. Yep. That'll do. Don't want to have to kill that zombie, because once we're done with this area, of course, we never have to come back. So... Ooh, although, there is the lighter there, there's that there, and of course, ah shit, it's shotgun shells, which is nice, obviously, but, it's nice as those shotgun shells are, would have been better if it was a handgun clip because it would have saved us space. Okay, so we're going to have to come out of here and run like a mofo. Straight away. Yeah, okay, that zombie's not too bad to dodge. So we need to go drop a load of junk off and then come back up, grab the last few items out of that room. This is what I'm saying. This... At least to start with, with Chris, is so much back and forth, back and forth. I don't actually like the way they limited his inventory without really giving him a, a buff. I mean, yes, he can take more damage, but it's not that significant. I think he has like 20% more more health or of some bullshit like that. It's not it's not a huge amount. Uh, I mean, we do have some shotgun shells now, which um, yay, I guess. Uh, we've also got the moon crest, which we can drop straight down. Um, we can't drop the ammo and we can't drop the key, but. Everything else should be fine. So, that's quite interesting. Um, the enemy placement is different with Chris. Compared to Jill. Which I did not know about. Or if I did, I'd totally forgotten. Right, let's go back up here. There, I'm tempted to go drop that Z, but there's just... I mean, there is a herb there, but... We can carry so few items. Like, I mean, it really is a luxury with Jill. All that space she has. And uh, to be fair, that's one of the reasons why, as much as I love this game, I never liked playing as Chris. Because of that restriction on your inventory. I hated it. I hated it then and I hate it now. 
But, you know, it is what it is. I never found Jill's health a limiting factor. It never felt like a bother or a burden. Whereas Chris's... Chris's uh, inability to carry a couple of items is massively detrimental to the game. Oof, there was a little bit of lag with my controls then. I thought I was going to get bit. Right, let's go... Um, let's go sort this guy out, I suppose. Come on. Come in. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go put him down. Nice. And I suppose we can go use the lighter in here. And we should be able to find a green in here, if my memory serves. And we could, we should mix up a decent herb. Yes, we can make a mega weed. Like so. Okay. Alright. Now, might as well use the lighter since we have it. And we can probably go see Enrico. Uh, no, Richard. But I don't want to do that just yet. Just in case it asks us uh, to go and get the serum. I don't want to go have to get the serum yet because the way's not clear. Although, does Rebecca have a handgun? I'm trying to think back to Jimmy's playthrough now, which has been a while. My memory's shit. Uh, I can't remember, to be honest. How many slots have we got? We've got one slot. Okay. I think there's only one thing to pick up. Yeah, there is. There's only one thing to pick up. We've got to get the item from the armor room. Or the green room, as I was called it. And then hopefully we should be able to just move over to the next area. So this was the wooden uh, crest, or the emblem, I should say, the wooden emblem. So we're going to go scoop you up and we're going to go drag you, hopefully over to the other save room, which should be unlocked, I think. Otherwise... We're in for a bit of chop. We can go in through there. But I've already explained why I don't really want to go in there yet. Hmm. Let's run straight across because it should be quicker than going up and down the stairs. And look how cool this mansion looks. I wonder what happened to the cleaners. No one ever talks about the cleaners. Imagine being a cleaner for Umbrella. Does that mean like one day you're cleaning up, I don't know, mopping out toilets or something. The next day you're cleaning up uh, zombie guts off the floor. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, there's three of them in here, isn't there? There is. There is three of them in here. I guess we'll drop two of them then. He's not actually dead. Come on. No. Aim at the one on the floor. Aim at the one on the floor, Chris. Fucking auto-aim is really annoying. Actually. There we go. Can we push this, please? Thank you. Right. Let's go smash that priceless statue. I do love how that was just placed there. Like, nobody gives a shit. It was literally just forged and, and designed to be smashed. Ooh. Oh, no. No. Oh, God, I'm making some serious hardcore mistakes right now. Oh, fuck off. Caution again. Oh, man. Not happy. Ah. Oh. That was not good. That was so not good. <sighs> Come on. 
Drop. Drop. The gods of ammo are not smiling on us right now. They really aren't. Can we can we aim at the one there? Why? Oh my god. It might be easier to turn this auto aim off. Right, you're gone. And you're getting a right little wiggle on over here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Nope. Yeah, we're getting very unlucky with these crits. He should be dead. He's dead. So what does that leave us with? One magazine. Oh boy. Because we know we've got enemies down here. Okay. I don't think there's much in the save room. There really ain't much in the save room. So we've got one little shit stain. Ooh! Okay, dogs. Of course there's dogs. I remember the problems Jimmy had with his. Um. Well, here we go. At least we meet Whoa. Rebecca. What is it? What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. Not going to tell him about the whole train expedition, the other research that facility, the leech strange. monsters. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. Oh, coffee. Soothes the throat. Right, you serviced the helicopter recently. And you're 12. That might be why it crashed. Um, also, Chris seems to be a little bit too used to being sprayed with pepper spray. I wonder if everybody is... Everybody's what? Dead? Yes. Yes, Rebecca. Everybody's dead. You saw some of them dead yourself on the train and in the underground facility that literally just happened. Remember? Remember Resident Evil Zero? You, you just you, you just forgot all of that? Okay. Right, and we're on like half an hour, guys, so I am going to save it. Uh, I'm going to think about what we're going to do with our health, uh, which is problematic. This is definitely going to be harder than Jill's. This is absolutely already feeling harder than Jill's. Hmm. Oh, man. It's like swallowing broken glass or something. Uh, right. So, um, I know that G uh, Rebecca here would actually heal us. Because she does mention at some point that you've got all these healing items here. Vitamins and serums. Because she'll heal you like up to three times. But I don't know if that's in this version of the game. I can't remember. But we're going to save it here anyway, guys. And thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go for memory card one again. Probably. We're going to... Well, we've got four save slots, so that's not too bad. A years. So, once more we're feeling, guys. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to be extremely painful and extremely slow going. We are definitely going to have to sort out those dogs. We kind of have to at this point. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.